In today's video, we're performing a fundamental stock analysis of Vista Energy SAB to CV listed on the New York Stock Exchange with the ticker symbol VIST. Vista Energy is currently trading for $16.28 per share, and over the last year, their stock price is up 105%, meaning that the company has doubled in their last year alone. We're analyzing the business to understand what are we missing? What could the market have possibly discovered about this business that's led to this kind of outperformance? Vista Energy has been listed publicly for just over three and a half years, and over this time frame, their stock price is up 73% overall, which is compounded at a rate of about 16.5% annually. Vista Energy is trading $3 below their 52-week high. The company has nearly tripled from their 52-week lows. They have a market cap of 28 billion Mexican pesos, which is about a 1.5 billion US dollar market cap. For more background about the business, Vista Energy is an independent oil and gas company. It is focused on shale oil and shale gas exploration at its main assets in Vaca Muerta. The company has operations in both Argentina and Mexico. As of the end of 2021, the business had proven reserves of nearly 182 million barrels of oil equivalent, and Vista Energy was incorporated in 2017 and is based in Mexico City, Mexico. We'll be performing the select six analysis for our fundamental analysis today, taking a checklist style approach of six standard financial metrics to come to a holistic and beginning understanding of Vista Energy based off of their business fundamentals. We'll also be giving the company a final rating at the end of the video. So this analysis is still a work in progress and it's an opportunity to learn in public. So it will continue to improve and get better over time. Starting things off with metric number one, we want their average return on capital over the last five years to be above 14%. And there are two key reasons for this. The first is that the average publicly listed business earns about a 7% return on capital. And the second is that over the long run, over the course of decades, a stock is likely to return approximately what its underlying business returns. And these business returns will be captured here by return on capital. So by asking for a benchmark of 14% or higher, we can potentially build in some margin of safety for ourselves based off the overall quality of the business being about twice as good as average. So Vista Energy as an oil exploration and production company is going to see that its returns on capital will fluctuate with the pricing of oil and natural gas as it's a commodity producer. The oil industry has historically been secular in nature. Vista Energy's returns on capital have fluctuated with the price of oil over these past five years. They went negative in 2020 when the price of oil went negative and they're strongly positive today on the back of increased oil pricing. In their most recent fiscal year, the company earned 32% returns on capital and averaged out over the last five years, Vista Energy, while their returns on capital are very lumpy, averages about a 10% return on capital. So while that is several percentage points above the returns of a typical business, that's down from that 14% benchmark we were looking for. And so this is an X on metric number one. Next, for metric number two, here we're taking a high-level overview of the growth of their business. We're looking for revenue, net income, and free cash flow growth over the last five years. And this metric is all or nothing in nature. Either all three of these will be up for this to be a check, or if even one of these is down, this entire metric will be an X. So Vista Energy has more than tripled their revenues during this period. Their earnings have gone from being negative to now they are positive, and their free cash flows have grown dramatically. Their free cash flows were negative in 2019 and 2020, and they were very positive relative to the size of their business in their most recent fiscal year. So all three of these are up, meaning that this is a check here on metric number two. It's great to see that their net incomes and free cash flows are leading this growth charge. Next up for metric number three, here we're taking the perspective of an individual shareholder in the business by looking at Vista Energy on a per share basis. So we're looking for earnings per share growth over the last five years. As we learned in our last metric, their earnings have swung from being negative to positive over this time frame. So their earnings per share will be up and this will be a check on metric number three. Worth noting is that the company has diluted existing shareholders by 73%. So that's quite a large amount of shareholder dilution. It's likely that because the business has been public less than this five year time frame, that some of these shares were issued when the business went public. Also, it's not uncommon for energy businesses to have issued shares for acquisitions over this period. Either way though, this may be something you just wanna dig into and learn a little bit more about. Then for metric number four, we're looking for free cash flow per share growth. This metric will have a similar result as our last metric. We learned that their free cash flows have grown over this period and that they were negative in 2019 and 2020. So with strong free cash flow growth, this outpaces their shareholder dilution. And this is another check on metric number four. Through our first four metrics, we have three checks and only one X for Vista Energy. You might think that nailing high returns on capital and having strong growth is the key to being a wonderful business, but we haven't touched on the one thing that I believe sets truly wonderful business 
businesses apart, which is having these characteristics without employing a lot of debt. So for metric number five, here we're evaluating how the business is using debt. So we want their net debt, which is their total debt minus their cash and their short-term investments, to be below the amount of free cash flow that the business has produced over their last five years. So Vista Energy currently has $334 million worth of net debt. And in their most recent fiscal year, the company has produced $210 million worth of free cash flow. So they'd be able to pay off their entire net debt position with less than two years worth of their current free cash flows. However, we want to look at the business on average over this period. And when we sum up their free cash flows, both positive and negative, Vista Energy has only produced $130 million worth of free cash flow in their last five years. So this would be below their current net debt position, although this has come down some, meaning that this is an X here on metric number five. Although again, this may not be as much of concern for Vista Energy, especially compared to some other types of businesses who have not been faring as well as recently as the business has. So a big factor here will be trying to understand if the business's strong recent performance is able to be sustainable and continue on into the future. Then the big metric of them all, metric number six, we want their average free cash flow to their total enterprise value to give us a yield that's above 5%. If this is the case, this may offer us a slight risk premium to the yield of the 10-year treasury, and it may offer us a potential starting point for evaluation of Vista Energy. So Vista Energy currently has about a $1.8 billion total enterprise value, and we're using their enterprise value because it takes into account both their market cap and their net debt position. As we mentioned in the last metric, the company has had a ton of free cash flow in their most recent fiscal year year, especially relative to where they had been at prior to that. So before we get to their historical averages, let's cover where the business is at currently. Vista Energy has produced $210 million worth of free cash flow in their last fiscal year. So to get a current free cash flow to enterprise value yield for the business, when we divide their $210 million of their current free cash flows by their $1.8 billion total enterprise value, that gives us about an 11.5% current free cash flow to enterprise value yield for the business. So that would be nearly doubling that risk premium that we'd be looking for but this metric is taking into account where the business has been at historically as well. So in the last five years, Vista Energy has produced $130 million worth of free cash flow, meaning that in an average year, the company is only producing $26 million worth of free cash flow. So when we divide their $26 million of their average free cash flow by their $1.8 billion total enterprise value, that only gives us about a 1.4% average free cash flow to enterprise value yield for Vista Energy. So unfortunately, this means that this is an X on metric number six. It is potentially very interesting that the business is split so dramatically on a current and an average basis of their cash flows. So you'll want to see when we perform a discounted cash flow analysis to come to a more concrete estimate of Vista Energy's intrinsic value. But we're split here on metric number six. Keep in mind that this is not financial advice and it's not a buy or sell recommendation of any security. And while these metrics are simple, when they're combined together, they can be very powerful. Then just as a note here, Vista Energy does not pay out dividends and they have not as a publicly listed business. Then everything we've discussed so far is important, but there's something missing that in my opinion is the main reason to analyze Vista Energy, which takes us on to using a discounted cash flow model to come to a potential fair intrinsic value for Vista Energy. A discounted cash flow model is based off the predictability of a business's free cash flows, and it's just like any other model in any other discipline, its outputs will be sensitive to its inputs. Right off the bat, a discounted cash flow valuation for Vista Energy is not going to be as accurate as it would be for some other types of businesses that would have a longer historical track record of being publicly listed companies. Even still, there are some adjustments we can make relative to where the business is at currently and has been throughout the past five years in order to give us a potential estimate of where Vista Energy would be at, starting with an average of Vista Energy's free cash flows over their last three years, and then using growth assumptions to give us a baseline projected estimate into the future, which it's important to do your own homework on on the business to determine whether or not these will be accurate and applicable for the business going forward. If we add in an estimate of their tangible book value, which gives us an approximation of the company's tangible net worth. And we were ideally seeking a 15% rate of return, which is the rate of return that Warren Buffett's looking for from his investments, in addition to his margin of safety requirements. Then it looks like at today's valuations of Vista Energy, that a potential fair intrinsic value for the company is just below their current stock price coming in at about $16 a share. Please keep in mind the factors mentioned about business predictability and the short track record that Vista Energy has. It's harder to look at the financials of a business without a proven track record. And so please be mindful of the fact that this type of analysis is not financial advice. It isn't a buy or sell recommendation of any security. And before considering any potential investment decision, please consult with the properly licensed and registered legal and financial professionals. So to give a rating for Vista Energy, the company earns just slightly above average returns on capital, although they've been pretty lumpy. And 
as an oil exploration and production company, the business's returns on capital are going to fluctuate with that commodity pricing, and that industry is historically cyclical in nature. The company has dramatically grown their revenues, their net incomes, and their free cash flows. It looks like they've issued quite a few shares outstanding, although some of that may have been related to the business becoming a publicly listed business. On a historical basis of their free cash flows, it looks like the company is using more debt than we'd be comfortable with. However, on a current basis of their free cash flows, it looks like they're using a pretty reasonable amount of debt. Again, a lot of that has to do with the performance of the business over the past year. A really crucial element to understanding this business is going to be understanding whether the success continues or not into the future. This was a similar story for their current and their average free cash flow to their enterprise value yields compared to the yield of the 10-year treasury, where it looks like there would be potentially a large risk premium based off of a current yield for the business, but that would almost be on the opposite end of the spectrum for their average free cash flows. Then the business doesn't pay out dividends and performing a discounted cash flow analysis of the company. If you believe those growth assumptions going forward for the business and you've done the work to understand that those assumptions are accurate, then based off today's valuations of Vista Energy, if you are seeking a 15% rate of return, it looks like a potential fair intrinsic value for the business is just over $16 per share, which would be just about in line with what their current stock price is. Again, for all of the reasons mentioned, this may not be as accurate and predictable as it would be for some other types of businesses, so it's worth reiterating that this type of analysis isn't financial advice and it's not a buy or sell recommendation of any security. Before considering any potential investment decision, please consult with your financial advisor. So with Vista Energy checking the box on three of our six metrics, the interest in the business may be peaked a little bit based off of that discounted cash flow model. The company looks like it's a moderate candidate in terms of its attractiveness for further research. That's today's fundamental stock analysis of Vista Energy. Ticker symbol VIST, VIST. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stock analysis videos, and comment down below what business you want me to take a look at next time. Vista Energy has been a strong outperformer over the last year, so thank you to Jose for recommending that we check out the business, and thank you for learning about Vista Energy with me.